As you guys know, uh, there's kind of a concern right now about uh, how the ranks will be shaping up in season four. Michael Murray has, has given us a lot of information and he has been tweeting a lot of things. Um, today, I want to tackle something he tweeted about uh, people who intentionally disconnect in ranked matches, right? People who plug, people who leave out when they're about to lose. This has been a problem for a very long time in Tekken. Uh, the problem has only gotten worse. You know, cheating and people plugging is everywhere. And Michael Murray, he tweeted, a few days ago he tweeted, some people have expressed concerns over people who intentionally disconnect because of a third consecutive loss. We will be more actively banning people who do this from season four. Basically what he's saying here is if you're trying to plug and you know cheat your way to get Tekken God Omega, if you, you know, get enough complaints, maybe they will ban you. He hasn't gone into detail about how he's going to be targeting these cheaters. You know, how he's going to be finding these cheaters. Right now at Tekken 7, there's no real way to keep track of these guys who's who's leaving out of the game. They leave out of the game and they're just gone, right? So I don't know if they are going to implement some sort of banning system, some sort of report feature or if they're just going to, you know, rely on people tweeting them screenshots or videos or something like that. But people who intentionally disconnect, Michael Murray is putting you guys on notice that he will be trying to actively ban you guys from playing. And I think this is a very good thing because cheaters are running rampant. You know, there's a lot of people who's super high up in the ranks and they should not be, you know, Cheating is one real reason for bloating, right? Uh, you you want to talk about the ranks being bloated and the ranks not making, not matter. Uh, cheating is because of that. But besides cheating, I also think it has to go into these busted DLC characters, right? These, these Leroy Smith, for instance. Leroy Smith can carry you up the ladder about seven, eight ranks. But I think cheating also has to do a big part of that. So just to see him talk about, you know, banning people for intentionally disconnecting, um, as he said, I think this is a step in the right direction because the people who, who do this, they all give excuses like, oh, well, if, if, if the guy picks this character, I'm going to quit. I don't want to play that character. If the guy I'm going up against, if they do this move a bunch of times, I'm leaving. If, you know, people who, plug will make up so many excuses for why they plug trying to justify it but for me it's unjustifiable you know what i mean if you're in ranked play against whoever you go up against whether you like that guy right you get matched up and you're like ah is this guy again plug you know that's not really fair so i think these guys really should be on notice and really uh, i i would like to see them ban these guys you know maybe once they set an example of banning a few people Maybe people will, you know, realize that this is not something they could do and get away with. But we'll have to wait and see if this really comes to fruition or if this is just, you know, blank threats, you know, empty, empty threats. But just him to, to mention the fact that, like, they're trying, they will be trying to ban people uh, shows me that they're really making an effort. Because before then, it was kind of just the rank system was kind of the Wild West. So... It, it looks like they're really trying to make Tekken 7 credible again. They're really trying to clean up these top ranks. Um, so it's just good to see. That's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll have more things out in the future. So subscribe if you want. Uh, if not, uh, you suck. Bye-bye. Uh,